Starting today, of course, law enforcement in the Low Country began the evacuation process issued by Governor Henry McMaster Sunday night. News 2's Danielle Seda gives us a look at the evacuation process and how residents are responding. In preparation for Hurricane Dorian, mandatory evacuations and lane reversals are underway. I wonder if it's a little early to close everything, but I understand it's for everybody's safety. It's just a total mess. It's. It... It messes up your whole day. Early on Monday morning, lanes were blocked off along I-26. Highway Patrol began the process by flushing in the interstate from the Low Country to Columbia. Next, a flyover took place to assure that nobody was driving in the incorrect direction. I think that a lot of people are going to evacuate because they're told to and they have the mandatory evacuations. But for others, they've chosen to stick it out. I have no choice. I have the animals, and most places aren't taking animals, so they're my family. <laughs> uh, I still think there are going to be quite a few people that stay. Uh, me personally, I'm staying because I don't think the storm is going to be that bad when it gets here. Whether you choose to stay or get away, definitely understand that it's going to be busy and that, you know, follow the rules and don't try to drive like a maniac. It's a reminder to be considerate of others. Because everybody's trying to get out and there's only one road out of Charleston. In Ladson, South Carolina, Danielle Seda, count on two.